Let's go part three. Now before I get into the actual video, I just want to say I did not make as much progress as I was hoping I would, just because I was at this massive LEGO convention called Brickworld Chicago that literally every single LEGO YouTuber is posting on right now. And on top of that, I'm also put waiting for a bunch of Bricklink orders, so in the meantime, I've tried to do as much as I can in the time I had. Now, if you haven't watched the series at all yet, or if you don't feel like going back and rewatching the last two videos, pretty much the idea is we're building a massive droid base on a mountain, and then we're going to have the clones attack it. I know it's really original, no one has ever done anything like that before, so I'm going to be the first. Now, to kick off this video, I'm going to start talking about the mountain. Now, I know I'm not going to actually start the mountain in this video, I don't have the pieces or the time. But, what I am going to do is start figuring out what I want to do for the interior of the mountain. And for that, I want to build a bunch of connected rooms. Here you can see amazing MS Paint. Now, here's a quick mock-up of my design. To start, I'm going to have a small base plate. This will probably be the same with all the different rooms. Though, I'm probably going to have two or three just massive rooms for the base. Now, for this, what I plan to have is I'm going to have some rock work showing that the base is still in the mountain and not just like fully hollowed out and looking nice and furbished. Here you can see a quick mock-up I made of what a room might look like. Now this is just a simple storage room, I'll probably change it in the future to look nicer. But what I've done is I've simply just added some slope pieces to add like a rocky texture to the walls. I've also added some super battle droids and some crates. This wool room was most likely a storage room, so it has just a lot of things in storage in case they are needed later. I have this really cool door technique, which I invert two plates, and then from there I add uh, the spring-loaded shooter pieces, which adds extra detail to the door. Next, I added this little control panel. Now when I slide it into the main area, it looks nice. I'm going to just use a simple clip and uh, connector so it locks in place and then I'm going to add tiles on the bottom so it can easily slide in now. Next, for the when it comes to the terrain, what I've done is I've uh, completely redone what I did last week. It turns out when I designed it last week, I used a bunch of uh, plates underneath it that were a different color. And if you didn't know, there's this little quirk with Lego where you can kind of actually see the piece that is underneath it when it's connected uh, one next to each other. So I had to redo it and put the under layer in white so it didn't look bad. Now what I have done is I've added a bunch of Duplo pieces. What this will allow me to do is stack really high and make the mountain much taller than I would have otherwise. We'll also be able to conserve pieces and making it easier to build taller. In other news, I've also added this cool crate I made. A long time ago when the movie Oppenheimer came out, wow that was a really long time ago in internet years, but uh, what I decided to do was I took the round circular shape and I decided to make just a small like uh, canister or something like that. This would probably hold like oil or something, whatever they used to go to hyperspace or something like that. I think it looks pretty cool. Overall, I think I've made a decent amount of progress for this mock. I, I'm hoping to release a video about Brick World Chicago 2024 next week. That will hopefully be a good video. Um, yeah, so thank you very much and can't wait to actually make more progress the week after. Have a great day.